Welcome, Florian Mayer, uh, event manager of this tournament, a Continental Cup in Haka, 2023. Uh, we are going to ask you some things of, of ice hockey and the challenge. Now, basically, Haka was the city itself. Everyone involved was very, very welcoming. Um, the teams felt really welcome here. We had a a really good organization, of course a little bit of language barriers and troubles, but everything got solved, so it was a good preparation. Uh, we had a good crowd, so at the end a successful tournament. Good. Haka is known as a, as a hockey town in, in Spain, mm -hmm. and um, you can see the, the arena has been used for, for different sport events of hockey, like the European Youth Olympic Games for several IHF World Championships. A uh, big advantage of the arena is that you have similar dressing rooms in the same size, so that's, that's pretty equal. Um, easy walkways and um, you know, for, for this level and for also for IHF championships, it's a good arena to play in. You know, basically what we do, the IHF office is doing that we have with the organizer. Um, several meetings and also at the annual congress of the Continental Cup there are meetings. So we have preparation meetings before and then we are in a close cooperation and communication uh, once the organizer is confirmed. Um, as I said before, the, the language is always a bit of difficulty but also a challenge and makes it interesting. Um, you know what, at the end everyone has the same goal to have a good event on the ice. Um, so the preparation in general was, was good, of course you can always improve and, and, and make it better. Um, but as I said, Hakka and the Spanish Federation, they have a lot of experience. So they also learn from event to event. So I'm sure the next one will be a little bit better, but this was already a really good level. Okay. Public was good, as I said, you know this is a hockey town. Mm -hmm. um, you see you have a lot of, a lot of kids here. So you have the youth already packed as a, as a fan and, and, and the crowd is good. So um, yeah, conti continue like that. In Spain? Yeah, you know, um, as we are working also closely with the Spanish Federation, um, the IHF is trying to support Spain itself uh, for hockey development, but also, of course, all the other countries. Um, the Spanish league is growing um, with a new team in Porto. Mm -hmm. um, also, it's Portugal, but you know, it's, it's good to have more teams um, in the league. So, um, you know, it's, it's a, it's a long-term progress. You have, to, you have to build the arenas, you need to promote uh, ice hockey itself to the sponsors, um, to the cities that you also gain in the youth to, to your clubs. But I think that, that Spain is on a good level and they also um, showed at the last World Championships um, that they are on an ongoing process. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good question. Now, for Spain, it's like for many other countries that they are always um, under soccer, especially in Spain, yeah. soccer is number one, and then I guess it's basketball, and then yeah. are, the, are the other sports coming. Um, you know, Isaac in Spain, they just have to make a footprint. They have just have to show that ice hockey is present, that ice hockey is an interesting sport. Mm -hmm. um, with the federation, with uh, the president, Mr. Frank Gonzalez, and the team, the team behind. Um, it's an experienced team, they know what to do, they know what they have to do. Um, so never give up, always fight that ice hockey is growing in, in Spain. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. Thank you.